guys, Steve here, how's everyone going? Well, we're out camping again. I just got a bit of a follow-up video a few weeks ago there. I put a video out about my um, crazy dog charcoal bag. They're going great, he's been selling heaps. He's uh, done a few refinements on, again, just on the spout, not on the bag. The bag's still exactly the same as the one I showed you. The same size, same handle, same everything. Um, the only thing he changed, like I said on the other video, He's going to change the uh, inside part, the little spout that pours out. He's just made it a fraction taller, and he's made the opening 100 and I think he said 150 millimeters or 120 millimeters. I'll put a photo of it up on the screen up there. Um, he's got some photos up on the website now. You can order them offline. So I'll leave a link in the description on this video as well, so you can have a look at that. Uh, the other thing that he had a question about, someone asked about whether he was going to put a uh, little pocket on the side here for putting fire lighters in. Now we did think about that when we were designing it but we thought it's just another add-on thing that you've got to put onto the price and it just makes it more expensive and we, like I said in the original video we're trying to keep this the cost down as low as possible on this. So what he uh, come up with with the uh, new spouting that he's put on it you can actually store your charcoal in the bottom part of the bag here. You can get two bags of uh, this Samba lump charcoal over here. So they're three kilos each. And I'm pretty sure this bag will hold up to about eight kilos. But you can put the charcoal in there as well as storing, have a look at this guys, in the top there. I've got a set of gloves and I've got my fire lighters. So with this spout thing in here, the new one is about this much taller. So what you can do, you can roll, but when you tuck it back in, just pinch the top of that over, push it in the bag, and what, what that does is make a bag within a bag. So you've got your charcoal in the bottom, then you've got room to throw your fire lighters in there. And if you want to, you can put your gloves in there. I, I keep my gloves in with my fire pit, but you basically only want to be storing your fire lighters and then zip it up. You got all the gear you need to light a fire in there. There's no need to have another little um, thing on the side there to um, put your fire lighters in it. It's just um, saving a bit of money. It's making this cheaper so that you can get it because that's what it's all about. Just getting out and enjoying your camping and having a good product that does the job. Like I said, it's really well designed with the handles for pouring the um, charcoal into your fire pit and just being able to store a little bit of gear in the top there as well. Now the other thing that I wanted to show you as well, I was talking about on the other video about putting the charcoal in here and I said I normally just pour the charcoal down through, I'll get that in the sun so you can see it, I, I normally pour the charcoal down through that opening in there, I just sit the bag on the ground I'll get a bag of charcoal here, and what I might do is, I might pour some in there and just show you. So we'll cut this open, try not to cut my hand off. So normally what I do is just uh, set my bag up. It's a little bit hard because it's completely empty. I normally have any just give me a bit of a hand, but she's holding the camera for me. So I'll just pour a little bit in there. And then I just give that a bit of a shake. And you can see the charcoal falls down through the spout. Now, a few people have asked, because that little uh, spout piece in there is Velcroed into the bag. Now, I did say you could take that out, pour your charcoal in the bag, and then stick it back up. It is a little bit hard and cantankerous to stick it up, but I worked out all you got to do, it's velcroed on both sides. If you just grab the velcro on one side, pull it apart, leave it velcroed on the other side, and you can see there now the opening of that bag on the inside there. Just get your charcoal. Like I said, I normally have any here holding this for me. It's a little bit hard to do by yourself. You can see there, I've just poured that whole bag in there. 
Now all you got to do is just push that Velcro back on one side. It's all stuck back up again. And you can pull your scoop out. Take your little handle off because you don't need that in the road. Then you can fill your fire pit up. Put your spout back away. Throw your fire lighters in once you finish with them. Put them back in there. If you want to put your gloves in there too, you can, or anything else that you can might. Zip it up. Throw it over your shoulder and throw it back in the car. Like I said, the Crazy Dog Charcoal Bag, really good place to put your charcoal. Look at my hands, all black. But um, this will save your vehicle from getting black charcoal dust all through it. It's a good place to store your charcoal. Like I said, these bags are bloody useless, they come in. I put that in my trailer the other day when I bought it at the shop and it got caught up on a bloody screw in the trailer, tore a hole in the side of it. You're not gonna have to worry about it with this canvas because it's really strong, Aussie quality, Aussie made. So check out Jason from Crazy Dog Canvas. It's a great product. Get on order one if you use charcoal. It's absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And like always, if you've got any questions, queries or comments, leave them down below. Stay safe, look after each other. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.